The truth about water filters for hiking, camping, running, and other types of outdoor activities is that they are not all equal. And if you get the wrong one, you could potentially find yourself unable to get anything to drink, or worst case scenario, as happened to me, you could get sick. <laughs> In this video, I've got a few filters to explain what I mean, including a new category of filter that I've never seen before. I'm gonna do a taste test with them later in the video to see which one gives the cleanest, freshest tasting water and suggest which one might suit you best. But I'm also gonna be warning you about one type of popular filter that I think you should probably avoid. So let's get started. Water filters are great. They give you peace of mind when you're drinking from unfamiliar water sources and they could help you avoid serious illness because in outdoor water sources, you could find things like waterborne viruses, I've got a list here, bacteria, parasites, endotoxins, microplastics, chlorine, trace pharmaceuticals, chemicals, organic matter, poo, um, heavy metals. <laughs> not that kind of heavy metal, uh, dirt, cloudiness, and strange flavors in the water. If you're taking from streams, rivers, um, springs, maybe high up in the mountains, you know, you're unlikely to encounter too many of these, but if you're taking water from rivers and lakes, down low, near urban areas, or around farms, that's a much higher risk. These filters are also great if you're traveling to countries where, you know, they're known to not have particularly good quality of water. But for this video, we're really gonna be concentrating on outdoor recreation. Now, there are other treatment methods such as water purification tablets and boiling, but filters are a lot more convenient. It's kind of hard to stop during a trail race and boil some water, and purification tablets can leave a weird flavor in the water. So, the first type of filter we have here is a fiber-based filter. These are quite small, they're light, and they're affordable and have a long lifespan. This one here is the Salomon fiber-based water filter. You can see it there. I use this one quite a lot for trail running. It consists of the filter with a bit you can drink from and a soft flask. There's a number of brands make similar bottles to this like Canadian. It's quite simple to use. You fill the flask with water, you screw in your filter and then you, you slurp from that end or you can take that off and squeeze the water through and the tightly bunched fibers inside that filter filter out a range of nasties. This is the kind of filter that I've used a lot for trail running, hiking or camping in those high mountain areas where I'm taking from water, quite clean water sources to start with, but maybe there's a few sheep and animals about that have been using the stream as their personal flush toilet. So this kind of filter removes protozoa and bacteria. Protozoa are these little, small, weird looking, single celled animals that look like Pokemon, but they can cause all kinds of nasty conditions. Slurp down too many of the wrong bacteria and the wrong protozoa, and you could find yourself projectile empty in your body from both ends. <laughs> this filters those out. However, if you're gonna be potentially drinking from dirtier water sources, this might not be enough, and I've gotten sick from using this filter. I was in a forest where some tree felling had happened fairly recently, and I was taking water from a stream in the forest. I drank it through this, and it had a little weird of a chemical taste. I didn't drink that much of it, but that night, I my, my stomach was not good, and I was a little bit sick, because this does not filter out chemicals. And these fiber filters also don't improve the flavor of water, so if you're drinking from, say, like a really peaty source, you can still have a bit of a weird peaty flavor in the water. After you filtered it, it might be clean, it might be safe, but it's still doesn't taste super nice and fresh. At the other end of the spectrum, we have this. This is the Grail Ultra Press. This orange section on the bottom of the Grail, that's where the filter is. And this thing filters out pretty much everything you might be worried about. Bacteria, protozoa, viruses, chemicals, pesticide, heavy metals, and toxins. This is a filter that I have quite happily used taking water from the river ban, which is a river that goes through a lot of farmland. It gets a lot of chemical runoff, fertilizers, manure, all kinds of nasty stuff. There's a lot of boats in it. I've used this filter in that river, drank about two liters of water through this, no problems. You scoop that into the water. You then put the top bit back in, make sure the cap is loosened, and then you just press down on it and use your body weight to filter the water. And it'll filter 500 milliliters of water in just a few seconds. It's the fastest one of these filters to use. It's a really good, solid filter. And one other advantage it has over a lot of other types of filters is that there's a one-way valve in this. So after you've pressed down and filtered that water, 
you can put flavors in here. You can put your favorite Robinson's concentrated juice in there. You can put electrolyte tablets. The downside with it is it's quite bulky, although something I find quite useful for this if you're taking it bikepacking is that it fits perfectly into the water bottle holder on a bike. Now there are a few big differences and advantages and disadvantages between these filters and I'll get into those again later, but for now I've got one final type of filter to look at. And this is one I've just got recently. This is a pure clear soft flask filter and it looks pretty much exactly like this. In fact, it's even smaller than the Salomon filter, but there is one massive difference between these two filters. And to explain that, I'm gonna go and do a taste test. Look at the color of this water. It is yellow. <laughs> it looks like I've got a flask full of pee here. And that is because that is an incredibly peaty water source. So I'm really interested to see how these are all gonna taste, particularly the difference between these two. Let's start with the grail, most effective one. Take the lid off. Doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes like clean, clear, fresh, delicious water. Yeah, perfect. This is a Salomon, and I kind of know what they expect here because I've used this in, on this river before. So it's fine, it's clean, but it has an aftertaste. <laughs> there's just a little bit of, there's just a little bit of something else in the flavor that isn't there when it's filtered through the grill. How's this gonna compare? And the Pure Clear actually has a couple of extra features. It comes with this little plastic cap over the top. I don't know whether to keep this on or not. Maybe it was just packaging, but it would protect it slightly better. I'll probably take it off. But what it also has is it has the ability to lock, so this is currently locked. So I squeeze that, nothing's really gonna come out. The Salomon, if I squeeze it normally, nothing comes out, but if I put any pressure on here, it will come out. And that can sometimes happen if it's in a bag. This doesn't do that, it clicks down into place. So I pull this, see that? And it pops up, and now it's unlocked. Right, but the question is, how does this taste? Wow, there's no flavor with this. I am seriously impressed. That tastes so much better than the water through the Salomon filter. But why? The reason there's such a big difference in flavor between these two is that this is not a fiber filter. Instead, what's in here is basically a miniature version of what is inside the grail filter. This tiny filter can filter out, got my list here, waterborne viruses, bacteria, parasites, endotoxins, microplastics, chlorine, heavy metals, trace pharmaceuticals, chemical reductions, organic and chemical matter, dirt, sand, cloudiness, and it improves the taste. So this one does pretty much everything the grail does except at a fraction of the price. So doesn't that make this one the obvious choice? Eh. This is where we kind of have to get into some major differences between these three filters. Both the Salomon filters and their bottles are under about 100 grams, so really, really lightweight. The Grail Ultra Press, on the other hand, is 354 grams, so nearly four times heavier. The Salomon RRP is 55 pounds, although you can generally find it for around 45 pounds. The Grail RRP, I think, is over 90, but you can generally find this between 75 and 85 pounds. And the Pure Clear filter retails for 30. However, when you take the volume of water that can be filtered through each of these before the filters need replaced and then the cost of the replacement filters, that changes things once again because the Salomon filter is good for up to 1,000 liters of water, which means per liter of water is costing you 4.5 pence. Now these two advanced filters require replacing more often. The Grail has the lowest lifespan of 150 liters. That means that each liter of water you filter with this is costing you 55 pence, which is actually more expensive than buying a multi-pack of cheap water from a supermarket. The Pure Clear filter can filter up to 200 liters of water at a cost of 15 pence per liter. And by the way, with all of these filters, if you wanna get the full lifespan out of them, you really need to, when you get home, 
take them apart and let the filter dry out. If the pure clear filter, for example, is stored wet, it only has a lifespan of two months. So it's important when you get home, take it apart and let it dry out. And that's the same with all of these. It's best just to store them dry unless you're using them on a daily basis. When it comes to replacing the Salomon filter, you have to replace this entire piece at a cost of 25 pounds. It's quite a waste of plastic. And similar with the grail, if you wanna replace the filter in it, this entire orange section on the bottom comes off and you chuck it away and you buy a replacement at a cost of 25 pounds. The pure clear one, on the other hand, is quite smart because this comes off and all you have to replace is this little piece. The filter itself at a cost of $14.99, so a lot cheaper and produces a lot less waste than the other two. Now there is one other downside with the pure clear filter compared to the two other filters and that is it has the slowest flow rate Allow me to demonstrate. So I take the nozzle off the Salomon filter, turn it upside down, squeeze it, and that drains all the water out of the bottle pretty quickly. Compare that with the pure clear filter. We take the rubber nozzle off, flip it upside down and squeeze. It's a much slower flow of water coming out of this. So you're getting a much higher level of filtration, a much better tasting water, but it does come at the expense of a slower flow than the Salomon water filter or the grill. Both the Salomon and the Pure Clear filter fit easily in the front pockets of a trail running vest. The, uh, the grill, not so much. Okay, maybe at this point you're slightly confused and wondering which of these filters you should buy. Well, here's my advice. If you're only ever gonna need a filter for trail running or maybe hiking in mountain areas, I'd probably go for the Salomon filter. It's ultra light, works well, and has a long lifespan. However, if you want the convenience of faster filtering, more advanced filtering, the ability to add flavors, and a more physically robust and strong filter, well then, I'd probably recommend the Grail Ultra Press. This thing saved my skin last year on a bikepacking trip where I realized the day after that we'd been taking water from a river where just 10 meters up from where we were taking the water was a dead and decomposing rabbit. So if you don't mind the additional cost and the extra weight penalty, this is, you know, this is the most solid option here. And then if you want the best of both worlds, there's the pure clear filter, which just happens to be the cheapest of the two. And if I'd known about this before I bought my Ultra Press, I might not have bought my Ultra Press. I might just have stuck with this. It's a third of the price. It's nearly a quarter of the weight. It's got cheaper replacement filters and it's got the same level of filtering. Yeah, you do lose out on a few features, but it depends on your needs. But I know for me that this is almost definitely gonna become my most used filter from now on. And finally, I've got one filter I want to warn you about. I don't recommend it. And that is the original Life Straw filter. I don't have mine anymore because I got rid of it. But basically, I've got a tube here to help demonstrate it. It's basically a filter that's designed to be stuck into a water source. And then you, you slurp through it and it just draws the water through it. And it seems like a really, really great idea. And it was the first type of filter I bought. It was one of the first fiber filters to market. But the problem with it is you have to have your head a foot from the water source. So either you've got to carry a cup with you, you can scoop in and then you can put it in, and then you're just carrying an extra piece of equipment. Um, or you have to actually get your head right down to the water. And what I discovered was, if you're trying to take from a river with a steep bank, the only way you can have a drink is to actually get in the river, stand in the river, and then put your head down. It's just, yeah, it's just a huge faff, huge nuisance, really difficult to use but a lot of people seem to buy them as their very first filter and then discover how impractical they actually are. There are newer versions of those filters, including one that Pure Clear makes where they have uh, threads in the bottom, so you can screw it onto a bottle, turn it upside down, and then squeeze the water through it, which is a lot more useful. And also the Pure Clear version of that filter comes with a really long tube, so you can sort of drop it in, dangle it into a water source and, and slurp through it, but I still think this type of filter is a lot more convenient. So I'd be interested to know which one of these that you think would best suit your needs. Thanks for watching. Hope you find this video useful. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. <music> However, when you take the volume of, oh no, sun is really up. Sun is shining in the sky. Hey now, Mr. Blue.